I can remember milking the old cow when I was five years old. Well, I was supposed to be milking her anyway, outside. It was a very different time, yes. yes, yes. You got up in the morning and you did chores and you got cleaned up and you went to school. Come home and you did chores again, homework if you had any. Somewhere along the line you ate. <laughs> Like even after I, re well, even before we retired, we were in the we showed sheep for years, mm -hmm. you know, and that's a whole different ball game. I mean, that's a purebred end of it, you know what I mean, that you get into, and that, and it, it's 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 nice. It's it's a good, you know, it's good advertising. You you get to the fairs, you you know, lots of times you'll sell, you know, a, a breeding ram or that kind of thing or some lambs that you don't need. People looking for them, starting out, you know. And I mean, today, lamb and, and sheep are much more expensive than they ever were when we started. But it's not just about the money, is it? No, 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 it's not just about the money. It's a way, of, like, it's a way of life. I mean, people, there's lots of people would probably think we're nuts or I'm nuts. <laughs> but I am not the person that goes shopping or that kind of thing. I do not like tea parties or that. I want to be outside doing my own thing. They're, they're a nice distraction. They're, you know, they're not a big problem. I mean, we used to have a lot more because we used to let them out. But now that there's so many coyotes, you can't let them out. Yeah. So you can just keep enough in the barnyard to, you know, Keep me busy. They're, they're pampered. They're well fed. They're fat like little round porky pump, pi porky pigs. There now, you know, and they get they get treated if they're sick. They get looked after. You want your animals to know you, familiar, you know, to be familiar with you. That you're not, that they're not afraid of you. When you go in the pen, they're they're not all running to the far end of the pen to skid it out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that's where you are. <laughs> Scare the life out of them. Well, you know what it's like here. I mean, I'm in, I feed in the pen. I'm talking to the sheep. I'm petting them. You know, everybody, they all know me. As soon as they see me, they're there, right? Mm -hmm. Looking for a handout. <laughs> but there's lots of farmers, especially the commercial farmers. The sheep are wild because they never handle them. They never, you know, they're just there by the hundreds kind of thing. And they're just a, something to make a dollar on. That's only Rachel. You've seen Rachel a thousand times this summer. You don't need to be running from her. No. You don't need to be running from her, do you, eh? We've got to... This girl. Here. This girl. Kyle well, looked at her. He was here the other day, eh? When he came to pick up the rams. Easy, girl. Easy. Don't be running. Come on. Stay with me. Oh. <laughs> anyway... He says, that's a beautiful lamb. I said, I know. 
Is it when you send her to Toronto? It's more a money thing to them. You know, it's a way to make a living. Mm -hmm. They have no real attachment to the animals. It's just a job. It's it's a job. It's it's their living right. kind of thing. And they they come in this end and they go out that end. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's the way it is. But for you, it's more than that. Well, for me, yeah, it is. I mean, that, you know, there's you get very attached to them, to animals. And, and it doesn't matter whether it's a horse or a, or a, a sheep or a goat or, you know, or a dog or a cat. It's the same thing. They, you know, they become kind of part of the family. <laughs> well, but some end up in the freezer and others don't. No, I don't put uh, too many in the freezer. I didn't put any in the freezer this year because there's no rooms. <laughs> <laughs> because you never cleaned the freezers out this summer. Never got to it. You can't do everything. Did we do anything? <laughs> we did a lot, but it doesn't show. I think if you eat meat in a reasonable way, it doesn't hurt you. Meat is not a, it wouldn't be any worse than any any other thing else that you're going to be eating. Do you think it matters where your meat comes from? Definitely, big matters. That's why I like to have my own. It's not full of it's not full of uh, what do you call it um, uh, hormones because they they do inject. For whole, you know, to make the anim hormones to make the animals grow faster, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. And if you were getting meat from the states, it's full of God only knows what, because they don't have the same regulations we do when it comes to killing an animal that has been treated the week before. I just don't trust the meat coming in from the states at all. And, and even our own, I prefer to have my own. I know what I'm eating. If you can't give them a good life, you shouldn't have them. But it, I mean, that's the way I look at it. Look, if you're, if you're gonna have, I don't care if it's a cat or a dog, either look after them or get, get rid of them. And is looking after them a burden? Not if you like it, no. It's not a burden to me, that's for sure. Probably is a burden to you. <laughs> So do you think that you're going to get tired of it? Probably not. He who enters by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the doorkeeper opens, and the sheep hear his voice. And he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. And when he brings out his own sheep, he goes before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. Yet they will by no means follow a stranger, but will flee from him, for they do not know the voice of a stranger. John chapter 10, verses 2 to 5. You know where? I could tell her where to shove this camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be ready to look at my pants as well. Really? You are hard up for taking pictures. <laughs> Isn't that right? <laughs> you want another donut? I am good, but thank you. Too bad.